To add Google Sign In button to our uh, view controller, we will need to make our view controller conform to uh, a, a delegate. It's called GID Sign In UI Delegate. So I'll copy the name of this protocol and then uh, go to my Xcode project and I will open a view controller, the one um, that I want to confirm to this protocol. And um, it's actually, it, it will need to be view controller that will be responsible for the sign-in page. For example, in um, my Xcode project, that was brand new project, I have only one view controller. So I'll select it and I will uh, resize it to four inch to make smaller. So I have only one view controller and this view controller is uh, managed by a custom Swift class called view controller. And this is why I want this view controller to conform to a protocol uh, called um, Google ID sign in UI delegate. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go in and the next step is for us to edit view did load and we will copy this line um, Google ID sign in shared instance I'll copy this line and paste it here okay so uh, next sorry uh, next will be to add a couple of more uh, functions and one of them sign in will dispatch sign in uh, present view controller and sign in dismiss view controller so I'll copy all of this and paste it into my view controller. Just give it a little more space. And this functions uh, use activity indicator. I'm not going to use it. I'll just uh, comment it out. And when sign in is presented, I will print uh, a line with uh, a message. Sorry print with the message that uh, sign in presented so that I also see it uh, in um, the back console print sign in dismissed okay so when we present when uh, Google sign in window is presented we will print out this line to see that we can um, do something in this function and when uh, sign in is dismissed, uh, we can print out uh, a line as well. And this is just for us to see that it's working and um, we can do something in these functions. Uh, okay, so let's go back to our um, the guides. And now actually is the time for us to add the sign in button itself. And the way we add it, uh, Google says that we can use XIB file or instantiate uh, this button programmatically. Or if we use interface design, for example, storyboard, we can create a view and then set its custom class to Google ID sign in button. So let me copy this uh, name again, or type of the button, and then go back to my Xcode and I will open up my right side panel and then I will look for view under the objects library UI view here it is I'll drag it and drop it into my um, interface designer now I'll select this view and I'll give it a different background so that I can see it. for example red and now I'll resize it this is going to be our sign in button I'll resize it to the size that I want my sign in button to be if I want it to be that large it will be that large but I want to make it uh, something like smaller I'll put it right in the middle here uh, okay so next what we need to do while this um, view is selected we will need to switch to identity inspector here and under custom class we will paste Google ID sign in button and hit enter okay that will make the button now the next um, uh, step let's reference what they want us to do we will need to create an outlet uh, for this sign in button and let's call it sign in button just like Google says uh, so I will select this uh, view hold control button my keyboard drag and drop it here and that's going to be connection type outlet and sign in button so I'll click on connect 
Okay, the outlet is created. Let's go next. And next we can work with sign out, but let's test uh, if our sign in button works first. Okay, so I can uh, run my um, application and I have set a debugger to sign in when uh, it's presented and when it's dismissed and we will see if it's called. So um, we'll run this application uh, with iPhone 5. Okay, my application is up and running and I see the sign in button, so I can click on it and that will trigger uh, one of my breakpoints. So it's a little bit messy here. Let me open, uh, let me close uh, this extra windows. Here we go. This is my first breakpoint because um, uh, the sign in window is about to be presented. Let me switch back to my application so I can remove this breakpoint and play. And here we go, sign in uh, with Google account is presented. So I can cancel it. And my other breakpoint will trigger sign in window dismiss view controller. So I will uh, let it play as well. Okay, so the sign in button uh, is working. Uh, I can uh, edit it a little bit to make sure the G um, letter fits in. So let's do that. Uh, I will uh, open main storyboard and we'll just resize this button a little bit. Okay, so now let's um, let's create protected page because when user signs in, we want to take them to the next page. And for that, I will create a new view controller. So I'll open right side panel, I'll go into objects library here and I will look for view controller, it's right here. So I'll just drag and drop it. And I will actually embed this two into navigation controller. It's not necessary, but I want to have titles at the top. So I will um, select view controller, edit, embed in navigation controller. And I will resize this navigation controller to four inch. Uh, okay, and I will select the navigation item and give it a title, sign in. Okay, so this is my sign in view. Now let me select this my second view controller and I will also embed it into a navigation controller. Resize it to four inch so that it fits on my screen. And this will be my protected page. So I'll select navigation item, I'll call it protected page. And protected page will have a button. Uh, this button will be sign out. So I will um, give it the title sign out. Okay, so for our protected page, uh, we will need a custom Swift class. So I will open up my left side panel, select my folder, click on it, create new file. And that's going to be iOS Cocoa Touch class next. And I'll give it the name Protected Page View Controller, subclass of UI View Controller, Language Swift. Next. Uh, create. Uh, okay, Protected Page View Controller is created. Now I'll go back to main storyboard, uh, select Protected Page View Controller switch to identity inspector and give it a custom class protected page view controller hit enter and i'll also use the same name the same custom class name for identity storyboard id just to make it simpler i will need to use this storyboard id uh, when i'm uh, going to instantiate this view controller from my um, storyboard and i will also go to sign in view controller select this view controller copy custom class name and paste it under storyboard ID here. The storyboard ID can be other name, any other name. I just like uh, this to be the same. Uh, okay, so uh, now uh, let's go to Abdel again. And for the Abdel again, let's uh, scroll down to function that's called sign in. When this function is called the user 
is going to be uh, signed in and if there is no error if there if error is nil we will have user ID we'll have token and we'll have email address so let's for example comment out uh, so that we don't have this yellow lines ID we're not going to use it at this moment uh, name and uh, we will use uh, email address so let's print out name uh, okay and we will print out name uh, to see to make sure it's working uh, print username and it's going to be a name it's not the username it's profile name uh, okay so and if um, when this code triggers we know that user is uh, signed in and that means we can take them to a protected page and uh, I have prepared a little a uh, few lines of code to make this video shorter um, I'll paste it here so uh, what I'm going to do uh, with these lines of code is this I'm going to uh, create a storyboard with the name main my storyboard on the left side here has a name main storyboard so I'm creating a storyboard and then I'm instantiating a protected page view controller uh, with the ID remember we have assigned it ID storyboard ID protected page view controller and that's going to be a protected uh, page view controller custom class and I'm taking this protected page view controller and I wrap it inside of a navigation controller and then uh, I'm accessing I actually don't need this line so I can delete it I'm accessing self window root view controller and then I'm setting the root view controller of current window to a protected page and that will take user to a protected page now let's go to a protected page itself now and let's open now let's actually go to a main storyboard and open this protected page in assistant editor okay so here it is uh, let's select manual here then switch to automatic uh, and create create an uh, action connector for this button send out button so I select control button on my keyboard click drag and drop here and I will create an action connection type action and type sign out button tapped okay so that's going to be sign out button so when user clicks on the sign out button this function is going to be tricked triggered and we can sign user out uh, but before it can work we need to uh, make this um, view controller also conform to a protocol uh, just like our sign-in page Google ID sign-in delegate and so I'll switch here back to protected page so I'm in, on the protected page now I'll paste the protocol name here and I'll go back to sign in page into view did load and I'll copy this line of code as well share it instance UI delegate self okay so copy this line of code here and I'll paste it here okay so when user clicks on sign out button this function will be called and we can uh, sign user out and the very first line of code will be to sign user out so we will uh, use the same ID Google sign in a shared instance and then we will call sign out uh, and once user is signed out we can take them back to a sign in page and uh, the way we'll, we'll take them I have prepared a few lines of code again uh, I'll paste it here the way we will take them to a protected page we will um, reference to self storyboard and we will instantiate view controller with identifier view controller the identifier for this sign in page remember it is if I switch to storyboard uh, custom class I mean if I switch to custom class of sign in view controller the storyboard ID is view controller so um, let's go back to protected page so we instantiate view controller for the sign-in page 
and then we wrap it into navigation controller and then we create an instance of app delegate and then once we have instance of app delegate we can access windows uh, object window and then we can access windows root view controller and then we set the current window root view controller to sign in um, page navigation controller and that will take user back to a sign in page so let's save this application and run it again to test how it works okay my sign in button looks better so if I click on it now it takes me to sign in with Google account I will uh, sign in now with my Google account and the password and it asks me for permission to access my email address and basic profile information I click on accept and it takes me to a sign-in page and sign-in page takes me right away to a protected page so that worked so if I click on sign out now it takes me back to sign-in page if I click on sign in it asks me for my um, username and password sign in accept and it's back to sign in page so it's uh, working there are a couple of um, uh, warnings here so let's click on the one which is in app delegate I'll open this uh, window let's go to app delegate okay and the warning is says um, parameter fix delete question mark let's delete question mark and the warning is gone let's build it okay successful so our application is working I'll just run it again to make sure um, it's it's working yes we have sign in I click on it and it takes me to a protected page I sign out click on sign in again and it wants me to sign in okay so uh, we're done here